So, it's me, your boy, Ike Samson. So, I have something for us, something to tell us from the book of Psalm 51. As I read, may God bless us. Remember, blessed? Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivered them in time of trouble. You know, this is one of the reasons why many people don't understand the, the, you know, the reason sometimes when, when, when they encounter problems, difficulties, God always find ways to deliver them. Hear it, I repeat, blessed are those who have regard for the weak. Who are the weak? Those people whom, whom do what? Whom you assist, you encourage, you help. You give what boldness to move forward, and the Lord protect them and preserve them. Before I read, I see the Lord delivered them in time of trouble, and the Lord protect and preserve them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their food. This is why, no matter how many there are that rise up against you. They will never be able to succeed. <laughs> that is why some people will be telling you, uh, you don't go to church, but despite of the fact that you don't go to church, why is it that God don't allow evil to come in your life? This is where it comes from. Listen, God did not, you hear what I read. God did not just say, uh, blessed are those that go to church. He did not say, blessed are those that, that go to church 24. He said, blessed are those who regard for the weak. The Lord delivered them in time of trouble, and the Lord protected and preserved them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the fool. The Lord sustained them on their sick bed and restored them from the bed of their illness. <laughs> My brothers, <laughs> there is a lot to enjoy when you are in choosing. Yes, believe me. That is why when people come to you, they'll be asking you, how are you doing? Ah, this is your business. We hear that this thing happened. Before they know, you stand up. This is where the Bible said, rejoice not over me, um, oh my enemy, that when I fall, I will rise. That is why sometimes people will be rejoicing on your behalf, but suddenly they will see you catapult overnight. Not because you catapult because of your strength. Not because you just become healed because you are powerful. No, it is the will of God towards you. And I further, he said, I said, have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. The enemies don't compre don't do or don't commit to the fact that they are sinners. These people don't commit the fact that they have done evil. They, they see evil as food before them. And I read, he said, he said, my enemy said of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? When one of them come to see me, he speak fouls, while his heart gathers slanders. <laughs> then he goes around, he go out and spread it around. All my enemy weeps together against me. They imagine the worst for me, say a villain disease have affected him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my closest friends, someone I trust, one who share my bread, has turned against me. My brothers, this is the world we are living. That people whom you trust, people whom you love, they will just come to con to to to, uh, to how would I say to consult you, to give, to encourage you, to to tell you, ah, brother, you need to take patience. You need to to be patient. You 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 need to take life easy. You need to s take life as you see it. Everything have your time. You know, don't be don't be afraid. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't don't think too much. But they are in their heart, they are thinking the worst. To, to do or to happen to you. Many of them are thinking that he won't, you, this evil will kill you, this evil will destroy you. They wish the, the wars to happen to you. And some of them will be going around, spreading it around, telling others, ah, we believe that he won't be able to sustain or succeed it. But then, may the Lord have mercy on me, Lord. He said, but may you have mercy on me, Lord. 
Rise or raise me up that I may repair them. I know that you please you pleased with me, for my enemy do, do, does not triumph over me because of my what integrity you uphold me and set me in your present forever. Praise be to the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. You know, the truth is this. This is what the Lord has said. He said, blessed are those who are regard to the weak. Blessed are those who encourage others. Blessed are those who give hope to the hopeless. Blessed are those who help others. Blessed are those who sow into other people's life by their word, by their encouragement, by wanting. Blessed are those who give to the world, to the people up there, to the homeless. Who assist them? The Lord delivered them in time of trouble. The Lord preserved them and protected them, and the, their account among the blessed in the land. So, my brothers, this is the reason why people who have everything will still be jealous of you, because they know secretly you are counted among people who are blessed in the land. They are they count you among those who are automatically what blessed in the land. They secretly know that you are blessed. So, my brothers, it is true to be good, to be good, to be focused, do good to all men, because God will use that to protect and preserve you. That is why sometimes many of us enter trials, enter problems. But we don't know how we come, we do what we come, uh, we come out from it. We don't know how it was solved. Why? Because the covenant of God, He will never change. His covenant is that, is that, is that blessed are those who regard for the weak. Blessed are those who help the poor. Blessed are those who help the the what the needs. Blessed are those who encourage those who are depressed to be to come back. To life, blessed are those who give hope to the hopeless. For God will preserve them, God will protect them, God will deliver them from their food, from their enemy. God will preserve them and protect them from the wicked ones. So, my brothers, may God protect you, may God strengthen you, and may His angel take charge over you. Remember, blessed.